This video is part of our Qt C++ GUI development intermediate course. It is this chapter here on deployment and we will be deploying the application we build in the course on Windows, Mac and Linux. The link to the course is shared in the description below. You can also check out the other courses we have on Qt. You can learn about Qt Quick and Qt Widgets. In this lecture, we're going to see how we can use the Qt installer framework to package our Qt applications. And I have to make it clear that the Qt installer framework can really package anything you want to package. It's not only limited to Qt applications, but we're going to see how it works. The first thing you need to have in place is the installer file for it. If you don't already have it installed, we're going to go to download QTIO and I am going to show you where you can get your copy of the installer framework for Qt. You're going to hit on official releases and this is going to open. You're going to see a link to the Qt installer framework. You want to go inside here and pick whatever is the latest version. We're going to pick 3.1.1 because that's the latest version at the time of recording this video. I also think you can go through the maintenance tool in your Qt installer to install this guy, but I don't like that tool. I like to do things directly here. And uh, for some reason, this is not opening. Why is that? Okay, we have our things here. And uh, you can see that we have an installer for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And you can see that this is supported on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Okay, you have to download your copy here. We are on Linux, so we should download this guy here. And after you download it, it's going to show up in your file system. I think mine was downloaded in the downloads folder. Let's go there and show you that. And uh, we have that guy here. After you download it, you have to make sure it is executable. Go to permissions and make sure this flag is set and install it. Mine was installed in my home directory and I think it is in Qt and I have my copy of the Qt installer framework here. Okay, so we have it here and if we go inside, we're going to find a binary, which is a binary creator. It is going to be used to create the installer file that you can send to whoever is interested in running your application. So we're going to use this. But uh, before we use this, we need to put together a folder structure for our project. So I am going to open another window for my file browser and I am going to go in, uh, where do I want to put this? I am going to go in my downloads folder again because that's where we are doing the things. So I am going to say new folder, painter app installer. And I am going to do something. I am going to come back to my Qt installer framework and I am going to go to examples and I want to choose one example that we're going to base our things upon. We're going to choose the tutorial example and uh, can I find it? Yes, I can. We're going to copy that. We're going to bring that in our Painter app installer folder and uh, we're going to rename this guy to Painter app. It's not going to be named tutorial. We want to change this. I'm going to rename this painter app. And inside we're going to change a few things. We're going to go to the config folder and we're going to try and modify information about this guy. We're going to open this with our gedit text editor and we're going to change the information about our application. This is going to be painter app and uh, we're going to keep it to this version. We're going to say painter app installer. We're going to change this. We're going to say the company here. I am going to put my company as always. You can uh, put in the name of the app. We're going to say painter app again because that's what we are trying to push to our users now. And uh, we're going to pass in the installation directory and we're going to name that painter app as well. I am fine with this and you can put in whatever you want. Okay, we are done with this file. We can uh, save it, control S, and we're going to close it. We don't need that anymore. And uh, we can go up again, and we're going to go to the packages folder. In here, we're going to find a module or a component for our installer. 
they are going to be in the reversed domain name structure. So we're going to try and respect this. I am going to rename this guy to Kamblai Kun Painter App. And I am going to go inside and inside I have two folders. One is meta, which is going to contain information about how our installer is going to work. We also have the data folder, which is going to contain whatever it is we want to ship to our users. I am going to remove whatever was in here by default. And I am going to open another window. And as you can see, I like to open my windows. Oh, we don't need this. And I am going to go where I have my painter app files. Remember, we generated those in my downloads folder again. We can go in a painter app and we're going to find all these files here. So this is what we want to ship to our users through our installer on Linux. We're going to copy everything here because it is everything that the application needs to run. We're going to close this window. We don't need it again. And we're going to put in our files here. You see that we can uh, run this guy and Painter app is going to run. We have to always try this and make sure that things are working exactly the way they should. So our data folder contains whatever it is we want to ship to our users. Remember that. So put that here and go up and we're going to go to our meta folder and we're going to look at the package XML file. We're going to open that with a gedit. You can use whatever you want. And uh, we're going to modify it and uh, adapt it to work with Painter app. One thing I don't need is this guy here. I don't need the script and the user interface tags here. So I'm going to remove them. I'm going to go up and say true here. And again, if you want to know what is happening here, you should really read the documentation for the Qt installer framework. You're going to learn much more things you can do with this technology here. The display name is going to say Painter App. So let's say that and uh, Painter App. We're going to say this is going to install Painter App on your computer. And uh, this is fine just now. We're going to put in a date for the release of this guy. I'm going to put in today's date, 2.19.7. And uh, we are at 18, I guess. And uh, we are really fine with this guy. We can save this, Control S to save, and we can close this. And we can remove these guys. We don't need them. We can remove this page UI. We can also remove this script. We can delete that. And uh, we have everything we need. Now what we need to do is uh, run the binary creator from the Qt installer framework and uh, give it whatever it needs to create our installer. So we need to go up to the level where we see our config and uh, packages folder, and we're going to grab the path to our binary creator from the Qt installer framework. The way I'm going to do that, I am going to go inside this folder where the binary creator is located, and I'm going to open a terminal, and I'm going to say pwd. This is going to give me its location, and I am going to copy it, and it is here. I'm going to copy that. I don't really like to type these names. I am really bad at this. That's why I copy stuff. So I have that on my clipboard. I'm going to close this and open a new terminal here. So I'm going to put that here. And I need to run the command to generate my uh, binary here. So the way I'm going to do that, I am going to paste the full path to binary creator. And I'm going to paste here. It's going to be here. And I am going to go inside and say binary creator. I'm going to give it a path to my config file. Remember, it is in config and it's called config XML. I think that's the name. And we're going to give it a folder for our packages folder. So we're going to say packages and we're going to give it the name of the installer that should be generated. We're going to call it Painter App Installer and it's going to be using the run extension because I want to make it clear that this is something you're supposed to run to start the install process. Once you have this, you can hit enter 
and uh, it's going to go through the process of generating your installer we're going to wait and after it's done we should see our installer pop up right here let's wait it's going to take its time to do this thing and uh, look what we have here we have our installer file and we can use it to install painter app in our computer here if you click on this it's going to start the install process and this is pretty cool check this out the first thing i want to do i want to see if i can put together a location where i can install this let's see that we don't have any painter app on my home folder and we don't so we can install this on my home folder safely we're going to next you're going to give it where you want this to install your thing you're going to see that it picked up my home directory which is pretty cool i'm going to hit next and i'm going to choose that i want to install painter app this is going to take 65 megabytes on my hard drive i am okay with this i am going to hit next and uh, you see that i see the license here and uh, this is coming from a text file that is uh, hosted in my meta folder let's go there and show you that and uh, we have a text file which says license text if we double click on that it's going to open up and you see that the contents are exactly what we have in our installer so you can put your license text here if that's what you want we're going to accept the license we're going to hit next and we're going to install it's going to start installing painter app on this computer here and it's going to be located in my home folder after it's done i can finish this and i can go to my home folder i'm going to open that and I should have a painter app folder that I can use to run painter app and you see I have everything I need for this application to run here I can click on this to open painter app and it's going to open and this is pretty cool if I want it I could have sent the installer we have here to my users and it could have worked also well and uh, this is an option you have so we have really looked at two ways you can package and distribute your qt linux applications you can use the installer like this that your users can click on and start the install process or you can uh, go through the app image process that we saw to generate a single app image that you can send to your users and it is going to run without any problem in the last lecture we saw that you can uh, click on this guy and paint your app is also going to run and you can see it right here so these are your two options you're going to choose whatever works for you and you're going to use it to distribute your qt applications to the world and i can't wait to see what you do with your new gained knowledge we're going to stop here in this lecture and i will see you next time